we do we do it like a shot? Like do we tap or do we just cheers? Cheers, bro. brother. To honor. To honor. If you can't come in her, come on her. Come on. <laughs> this time. Don't say y'all. <laughs> I'm not. I don't throw him into that. It's collateral damage. All right, you wanna you wanna make sure real quick. We yes. working? Everybody's okay. Okay. Go ahead and start with that first thing on the list. <laughs> that we've already been through twice. Yeah, but this one. Um. That one. Can I see it? Yes. I just got to the game. Oh, we should introduce. We need to introduce <laughs> you again. Zane, uh, our guest for podcast number five is Zane Howard. Uh, go ahead, introduce yourself. I'm Zane. I'm <laughs> <laughs> for the first time. You just introduced me yeah, for the first sorry. time. Um, I'm a mechanic. Um, I'm recently engaged. What? <laughs> um, and that's that's pretty much it. So ask away. Oh, hell yeah! What you got? Let's go down this list that we haven't talked about before. Actually, we need to. Should we do? Start this with a shotgun. Can this I just right. say yeah. I like these cans. Yeah, Luke Combs. They're Luke Combs edition. And that is why I like the cans. Nah, he's not that good. <gasps> I mean. What kind of country music are you into? Old school? Oh, old school. Yeah. People you ain't never heard of. Like old, old school? Or old like, school, like back before our parents? Like Johnny Horton? Yeah. I love him. He's um, George Jones. That's when our parents were really young. Yeah. Um, I, don't know. I got a playlist. Mm-hmm. It's the best playlist on the face of the earth. Oh shit! That's a bold statement. <gasps> I'll let you, are you into country? If not, you can just. She knows every it. country song that comes. Just scroll off. through it. I bet. Do you know who Wyatt Flores is? No. Okay, there you go. I'm not saying it's not. Go a ahead and just name some. Keep the people in the oh, loop. Oh yes, sir. Keep the people in the loop. It's a good one. You can pause it. <laughs> Let's shotgun fucking. Are y'all gonna go outside or just make? No, we're gonna do it right here. We're gonna make a mess right here. I don't spill, so. Yeah, he doesn't make a mess. I just, he made me watch your videos. I'll take a. Uh, I'm not gonna. Let me scroll through that. Buds. Good luck with that. Also, uh, we had a whole fucking thing. Yeah, we had to go back over it again. Um, <laughs> Trent asked me, "What is your view oh, on I the love whole? That song. What is your view on the whole situation with Bud Light and Heiser Bush, all that jazz?" I said. Um, honestly, I don't give a fuck what you like. I don't give a fuck what you do in your life. Just don't let it affect me or shove it down my throat. Exactly. So there's that. Um, and I think we're well, shut right, right. So, you know, has it been a while since you did this? Or? It's been... So what you want to do is you're going to tilt it, 45 degree angle, and watch this. You're going to get the knife. Beautiful. Oh. Call is just coming back. Guys, I'm learning so much. See, no spills or nothing. And don't close that knife. It's bad luck. Yes. See, I told oh, you. He knows. See, so just go in. Too much of an angle. Oh, shit. So you need to go in right, right on the edge of the blue. Be gentle. God. Don't stab Be yourself. gentle? Yeah, so do this. Okay. Aim it that way. And then push down. It's not a very sharp knife. <laughs> it's my multi tool from. Well, you okay. failed That's already. Good. And then, no, 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 what you do, oh. I'll show you. So it's called the chicken foot. So you roll it off the back end of, oh, it doesn't bend that way. You roll it off the back end, uh-huh. like that, and you go out, again, this knife isn't sharp, and then you twist it. Twist either way, and it'll open you up, oh, and you can right. push that in or pull it out either way. Doesn't make a difference to me. For a shotgun of the Trenton Tramps? And do we do we do it like a shot? Like do we tap or, or mm, just cheers? Cheers, brother. brother. To honor. To honor. If you can't come in her, come on her. Come on. <laughs> Trend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Trend lost. That was awful. Oh. Wow. So uh, and he's been wearing so what same we're getting shirt for like seven days. Oh. What we're gonna get into Holy next, shit. I guess, is the whole um, oh. beer drinking competition. So yes, yeah. you're a fucking champion. I am. Um, you are a fucking champion. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, good songs, right? Yeah. yeah. Can't oh. complain. Oh. Um, 
So, Jeez. yeah, I do. Um, I don't seek out drinking competitions in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Um, I'll go to a bar on like a Oktoberfest, St. Patrick's Day, whatever. And if they have something, I'll do it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this recent, I think it was Oktoberfest in Denton. Mm-hmm. I did a Steinhoist. Yes. Um, it is a ceramic mug that weighs probably four or five pounds filled with beer to the top. You keep your arm out completely straight. You're doing all right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You keep your arm out completely straight. You cannot bend it. You cannot lean back for leverage. You mm-hmm. cannot spill a drop. I held it for six something min- minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I won. Fuck yeah. yeah. It was really cool. And then uh, another competition that we do with a lot of my brother's friends is uh, it's called the Chug a Lug. Mm hmm. What the chug lug is, it's an 18 hole game of golf. Mm-hmm. And for every beer that you drink, it is a stroke off your entire game. Okay. Um, so this past year, I drank 28 beers in an 18 hole game of golf. Did you switch up? I, I didn't, did you switch up beers at all? Or did no, you say same, same beer? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, my brother, who's kind of in charge of the entire thing, he oh, wanted to make oh. a rule specifically for me because I won the first year. Well, I wasn't there the first year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was living in California at the time, but um, won the second year and won last year. Yeah, uh, They wanted to make a rule for me that I couldn't shotgun beers, mm. which kind of sucks. Yeah, it's an easy way to get it Because you can burn through. I can so. burn through. I mean, that was a 16-ounce beer, and I did it pretty quick. Yeah. yeah so 12-ounce <laughs> yeah, 12 12 cans are an issue. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was like, "That's how the fuck is that fair? He's like, well, it gives everybody else a chance. Yeah. Yeah, but what about me? Making the rules just specifically for you, though? It's yeah. Not fair. It's fucked up. And you but, still won, right? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, Make all the rules. Total, you want. total stroke was 82, 81, uh-huh. something. Yeah. Low 80s. Beautiful. It was a good game. It, without the beer, yeah. shit game of golf. Yeah. A garbage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but with the beers, it uh, that's like a, I'd say, above average golf player yeah, yeah. so they were really kind of just motivating you to just drink more yeah. and play better yeah um first year i played uh flipped a golf cart uh-huh uh, bad situation flipped a golf cart broke my glasses oh, shit. Uh, ripped my shorts from crotch all the way up to the ass mm-hmm. um broke a bunch of buttons off my shirt oh, fuck. and i didn't so i won that year uh didn't even play the last uh four or five holes yeah, yeah. did you did the did you mess up the cart yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, was that even a question? Yeah, you know, it's fucked up. Uh, actually, the roof of it, you know, has like the four poles that come down. Yeah. Uh, two of those had popped out. Oh. Yeah. Like stripped the bolts out of them. Oh fuck. Yeah, it was bad. It was aggressive. And then the guy who's I was who's my partner, uh, he fell on top of me. Oh. All the all the golf clubs because uh-huh. they're strapped. The bags are strapped into the back. Yeah. All the clubs out. Oh fuck. Yeah, it was bad. I uh I I've never played a round of golf, but I worked on a golf course. Yeah, which one? Uh, the G- Windstar golf course. Okay, nice. So, oh yeah, you worked at Windstar for a little while. Yeah, and I did ballet like two years ago. But uh, didn't Macy work there too? She did. Yeah, she was in safety, the safety division, whatever they yeah. were. Like uh, prevent. Uh, no, what is it? Uh, yeah, I think asset protection yeah. type situation. Well, no, no, that's so they have their own police, which is that's fucking cool. crazy. Like the Indians, they're called Fire Horse, and they're their own police. The, like the Indians. Yeah. Well, I'm a. He's a Chickasaw. I'm registered Chickasaw, so I can. Oh, you registered? Yeah, I, I, have my I little, am not registered. Where's my? Are you a Chickasaw? I'm not. We are Blackfoot. Oh. The bad ones. The. Hardcore motherfuckers. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think it's Blackfoot. Um, like scalp you just because. Yeah. That people. Oh. Because you're a white man. Yeah. Oh. Which, you know what? Go ahead. Same they man. took yeah. our land. I don't know if I can say that. I'm only like a percentage. Yeah. But I still feel the... I, I think you have to be, to be like qualified for free college, I think you have to be like an eight. Yeah. That's what I am. Yeah. An eight. I don't know where my... Uh, I'm like a 16. Where's my fanny pack? There yeah, I'm somewhere in between an eighth and a sixteenth, whatever that would be. Actually, I don't think I'm an eight... I think I'm like way less. But they, uh, so anyways, yeah, they have their own police. Makes you work there for a while. Yeah. I did the golf course, uh, then I did valet. Um, and that was so much fun. Like, it was literally like, cool 20 cars. people. 
Yeah, we'd yeah. have cool cars, but we'd also have. Like, I remember your Snapchats about it. <laughs> shitty cars. Yeah. Bad cars. Like people who had piss bottles, just like Ooh. in the floorboard. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, I have a, I have an identification. Oh, you have card. a legit. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> whatever percentage that is, I think From I'm less than a percent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then mom's side or dad's side. Mom's side. Re- I wouldn't have guessed that. Really? With the blonde hair. Yeah. yeah. Well, crazy thing is now that... Now she's brunette. Now she's brunette, yeah. Is but the, natural or... No. I haven't seen your mom or your dad in natural, five she's plus years. White-headed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's going to fucking kill me. <laughs> uh, so the my dad is Choctaw. My mom is Chickasaw. But then when you, you go back in the history, they were once all the same tribe. They just had like a dispute. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, two brothers. It was two brothers had a dispute. That's interesting. One became the Chickasaws, one became the Choctaws. So dad and there was says there's a dog involved. There was a dog, a white dog. Would you like to hear this story? The white man. Yeah. Thank you. And a pole up direct. So they were trying to move. So mm-hmm. they were from Mississippi but got relocated to Oklahoma. There okay. were all that stuff. The Trail of Tears and all that. Um, So there was two brothers, and they were following this pole. And in the mornings, if the pole would point in a certain way, that's where they would move. So like the whole tribe, talking like thousands of people. Um, So one day, the pole was like laid over, and there was a white dog on the other side. And the brothers got into a fight. I don't know, and like 30% went, went with... Went with one brother uh, further east, and then like 60% stayed and became the Chickasaws. And then what they happened all to the other 10? I was gonna ask that. Oh, I true. Was gonna, I was gonna leave it alone. Uh, <laughs> Miller Light happened because yeah, I right. just my <laughs> just my <laughs> math is off, but yeah. So, and we went to the Chickasaw Cultural Center. So oh, it's yeah. like an outdoor, indoor museum. They have a whole reservation built. I got That's to cool. feed some fish. And we got That's to feed cool. fish. Yeah. Uh, you, since you were talking about history, um, uh-huh. my brother went to like a business conference over in Indianapolis, I think. Mm-hmm. Maybe? No, it was, yeah, Utah. Is that right? Where are the Mormons are? Where Utah. are the Mormons? Utah. Mm-hmm. He went to a business Why? conference there. And... Um, he went to like the DNA ancestry museum thing that they have mm-hmm. and he got our lineage. Oh, wow. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, they were asking a lot, um, of questions to him like, Oh, are you like, is your family like leaders and stuff like that? Uh-huh. And he was like, yeah, for the most part. Um, and she brought it up on this giant screen. I mean, it's like one of those things you see in a museum where it's, you know, 40 foot long, one screen mm-hmm. and it was our lineage across it. Holy shit. It was really cool. Yeah. So we are related to so many presidents, uh-huh. so many captains and armies, stuff wow. like that. It was really cool to see. That is um, cool. I don't... Which there's a pic- I have a picture of Huh? Which president? A lot of them. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're like, well, you're like a natural born leader. Mm-hmm. And he asked her, well, what's the most famous people you've ever seen on one of these? She was like, yours. Yeah. And she's worked there for years and years and years. That's awesome. Yeah, it was That's really cool. cool too. Yeah, yeah. So like we're we're related to like cool people. Um, Elvis. Oh shit! Yeah, what? the king. Yeah, I love Elvis. Did you see way. that movie? Loved it. Yeah, I think Austin Butler did a phenomenal. Knocked job. it out of the park. Yeah, dude. I don't think they could have chosen a better person. <laughs> it's like a fucking sorry, no, it's like a kid. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah, you can't draw next to the microphone. It's yeah, um, but a lot of famous people, um, uh-huh. a lot of leaders throughout history and stuff like that. It was really cool. That's cool. Yeah. I've always wanted to do that. Which is weird because my dad is super against that. He's a very, like, I don't want people to have my uh-huh. DNA. He didn't want to do yeah. like a spit test. Thing. And I don't blame him. Yeah. He's, he's I love him to death. He's set in his ways, and that's mm-hmm. fine with me. What, is he going to change him now at 50? Yes. No, Not no, a chance. No. So I uh, yeah I agree the uh, I wanted to, wanted to do the ancestry ancestry Jesus Christ ancestry You're really mumbling. ancestry thing 
But then I saw this one tweet, and I know I shouldn't get base my life off tweets, but it was like, they're collecting your DNA. They do. Yeah, like... They do. That is the thing. They do collect yeah. your DNA. And it just kind of freaked me out a little bit. Well, what I don't like is uh, like when um, Apple started doing the button with the finger thing. Mm. The scanner. Did you see they came out, so the face ID, right? Yeah. Then they did face ID with, with the mask. With a mask. That's I was weird. like, fuck that, dude. That's weird. You're getting too yeah. too into back to the, the Amazon. I know we talked about it earlier, but I Which time? earlier. The first time. Well, uh, Jason Bourne could never be Jason Bourne in this day and age. No. With all this face ID shit. No, not at all. Saying? Oh yeah. You know who Jason Bourne is? It's a, it's a really. He's a spy. Yeah. It's well, a, he doesn't know like who he is or something. Yeah. It's Great movie. movies. movies. Great, good movies. Yeah. Um, but the uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, well, you got the where the notebook. What was I saying? The notebook is right here. Yeah. You were talking about Amazon. Oh. Did you? Yes, I did lock the front door. Um, the so I had a fever. I got COVID while I was working at Amazon Fresh. And I was in the freezer, and they came and got me because on their sensor, I was too hot. Yeah. Because I had a fever. Uh-huh. And that was the weird. And I was in the freezer, too. And it was the weirdest. Like, they came and they're like, Mr. McMillan? I was like, yes. And they're like, we need you to stop your load, I guess, for lack <laughs> of a better word. Yeah. And uh, stop it well, because we would have a big tray that we would. Yeah. And, you know, they had 16 bags on it. And they're like, we need you to stop, and we need you to cool down for 10 minutes, and we'll take your temperature again. I was like, mm-hmm. and I didn't know I had COVID yet. And they're like, well, you have a fever. Your body temperature is rising, so you need to leave. Creepy. I was like, what well, the When fuck? I was working for Amazon, was also during COVID. Yeah. Uh, but I was delivering packages, um, which we'll dive into that, Love. that whole portion of it. Yes. Um, that every day you had to go and stand in front of this, like, it, it's like a camera. But it's mm-hmm. infrared, I think is what it is. Yeah. So it reads body temperature. temperature. Um, and it, you walk up to it and then boop, boop, yeah. good to go. Or <clears throat> yeah. send you back. Same thing when, uh, when I worked at DHL. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The uh, technology, it's just getting to... The AI shit. Freaks that's out. Yeah, that's a whole... Hey, have you seen the video of that robot that does manual labor for like 20 minutes? And, and it, kills it kills itself? itself. Oh my... Th- yes. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. we don't understand. It's like, so what it, it did, it processed, and it's just not worth it. Yeah. It, so all it does is it's moving boxes from like a shelf or a conveyor belt to a shelf. Mm-hmm. That's from me to this wall behind y'all. Yeah. That's all it does. And it does it for like 20 minutes, and then it goes to put a box up. And then it realizes this isn't worth anything and yeah. fries its motherboard yeah. completely. Kills it just kills itself. itself. You believe that? I got a fucking piss again. What is it? Or we're young the AI. Because that it's basically the artificial intelligence inside of this robot. Because it's given a job like, oh, carry these boxes from this conveyor belt to this shelf. That is your job. That is your livelihood. And it does it a few times and it's like, this isn't fucking worth my life. And just kills itself. It's actually so yeah. sad. It's really I'm sad, right? Far. Yeah, so that's nuts. And then the stuff that they're dealing with other AI freaks me out. Like the whole computer thing. And you can like put in a prompt and it'll write you an entire story. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. The only thing I've heard about it was this girl on TikTok. She... Her mom thought she had been kidnapped because... The call? The cell yeah, phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, Mom, I'm literally in the living room. Like, what yeah. are you talking about? Yeah. I know a lot of people... I saw a TikTok about that, and it was... Uh, the... It made up the son's voice or something like that and requested money for, oh, for bail. Like the scams. Yeah. With the AI. And, yeah. it, rec- and it was the son's voice requesting bail. Uh-huh. And like be sent to this account, this routing number, whatever. Have but, you talked to your AI on Snapchat? Nope. <laughs> and it popped back up at the top of my Snapchat today. It did? Mm-hmm. You, uh, I turned mine off. I hate to say this, but I did talk to mine. Trent. I told myself I wasn't going to because it's fucking crazy. It popped right. back up, and I tried to put it, like, to clear the chat settings, and it won't let me, because I've done it, like, four or five times. 
Is that what you did? No. How do you turn it off? I don't know. Go to your... Go to... While y'all are doing this, I'm going to pull up the conversation I had with it. And does it say my AI on there? No. Mine said my AI and I clicked (gasps) it. Oh my god, it goes away? Yeah. And if you ask it about it, it'll... I saw TikToks about it. If you ask, like, about a previous conversation, it says it doesn't remember. Oh my god, because this last conversation that I had was weird. Like really weird. Like it it even if you have a, like this, even if you save it, it'll yeah. delete it. Yeah. I talked to him. I was like, so I'm unsure about talking to you. And it was like, well, why? Take we can take things slow. And I was like, I just you make me uncomfortable. I'm not scared, but I just don't know about what you can do. Yeah. Well, we're just here for you know Snapchat to be playful or play. You use two words over and over. Informative and upbeat or something. Yeah. And I was like, so who gives you these commands? And it was like, uh, I don't I don't take commands. I was like, so what's a program? And they were like, a pro gave me the definition. The program yeah. is a certain kind of whatever. I was like, so the people who programmed you with certain commands are the one controlling. And it said, I see what you're trying to say. First off. First off, huh? what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, as it, it was crazy. What I noticed was I asked six questions. On one, two, three, four, it was like a robot. Yeah. On five and it's six, personal. it talked to me. Yeah. And I said, just make me a promise. And it was like, I'm just a... I can't make promises. Yeah, I can't make promises. I can only ensure, you know, this conversation. I was like, if... This shit starts to go south, and somehow you have any way of protecting me. Please yeah. just spare me. Yeah. That's all I said. I was like, well, I'm not really well, sure what you mean, but... It's like that. Uh, it's an old movie. I'm sure y'all haven't seen it. It's about computers taking over. Mm-hmm. I'll have to look it up real quick. Um, this is when you need a person. I know. I need a guy. Am I high? Where are you when you're talking to your AI? No. I was not. I don't believe. No, it just, you know what, it set up at the top of my feed for the longest time. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to be very precise in what I say to this thing. Is it the one with Will Smith? No, that's iRobot, honey. See, I want to watch that so bad. It's a great movie. It's an, This one that I'm trying to figure out with is Will a... Will Smith, I Am Robot? No, it's iRobot. Oh, I was like, he also has You're talk, I Am You get Legend, mixed up with weird. I Am Legend. Yeah. I Am Legend's a great movie. Yeah. Love that movie. My parents won't let me watch that when I was a kid. Because he kills a dog? <gasps> I think because he cusses. Or did I just ruin that movie for you? <gasps> AJ, what? You've never seen I Am Legend? That's your fault. I can't think of this movie. But basically, it's like all all machines uh, take over the world mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But on top of that, there was somebody who asked artificial intelligence... What is the way to fix Earth? And it took about like 30 minutes to an hour and like scan through the internet and scan through world history and all that. Yeah. And it said, basically eliminate the human population. Yeah. The, um, That's fucked. Which, I mean, that's hot take here. Uh-huh. Uh, too many people in the world. Honestly, I'm saying. And I, this is going to I agree be, with that. This is going to get so much hate or whatever. It's all good. Call it. People live too long. Okay. And modern medicine has come too far. Okay. It has. Okay. People overcome illnesses that we are not meant to overcome. Right. Whether it's like stem cells or whatnot. Yeah. People just live too long. The population needs to be... That sounds so bad. Population needs to be cut in half. Was Thanos right? Yeah. I mean, and like, I, I've talked to my dad about this before. You know, say if like randomly 50% of the population just goes gone. Yeah. If I'm included in that, so be it. If it makes the world a better place for my kids one day. Yeah. Well, if I have kids at that point, you know. Mm-hmm. But... I don't know. Too many people in the world. People live too long. Yeah, we're getting... I think we crossed eight, mi- eight, billion, eight billion like two months ago, yeah. right? 
Yeah. I don't know. Which in, in like, again, well, I guess not technically again, but (laughs) as far as religion, um, we're not supposed to have half of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not what the the world, the earth was made for. Right. I agree. I'm right with you. I think that, I think, because there's a genetic... There's only so many p- people that could exist ever forever, right? Yeah. You know, like ge- like dogs. Like, their yeah. genetics run out after a while. You can only breed a pug with a pug so many times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, what, I, what I've gathered is that there's 8 billion people. That means... And people don't realize how much a billion No, is. or like a thousand. Like, I think it's it takes you... Like three days or four days or whatever to count to a million, and it takes you like thirty years to count to a billion. Exactly. It's the difference is crazy. And I don't think people realize that. And it's well, it's hard to picture. Like you just don't. Yeah. You can't put that in a photo because mm-hmm. the land it wouldn't be good enough. But yeah. like seeing a thousand people in person or like a stadium. Yeah. You know that's only a twenty thousand or eight. Yeah, like yeah. Cowboys game, eighty thousand yeah. people. Yeah. That's. Nothing. That's a grain of sand. Yes, that's nothing. And this whole thing is half a grain of sand. Yeah. And that's why I think that, like, a lot of mental illnesses yeah. are more common because yeah. there's so many fucking people here. So if you went back, that's why, like, I got uh, a hot take on mental illness, too. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to, I mean, we're all. It's all good. This camera's yeah, not even yeah, there. It's not even there. Uh, the whole, like, if there was one billion, how many of this certain kind of person would there be? Or yeah. how many of, with this? And mm-hmm. I'm not saying, like, oh, all those, or like, one, ways one space. person or another. Yeah, yeah. like, I, but it's just the sample size. We're the largest species on the planet. So there's a lot of room for only, all different only, kinds of. What is it? Only species that outnumbers us is like ants. Yeah. Which ants could take over the world at any time. I don't know if you know that. They said that if ants were like, I don't know if it was a percentage bigger or maybe something that they would take over the planet. No, ants, if they wanted to, ants could take over the planet. That's fucking crazy. It's crazy, right? How many billions of ants are there? Shall more I look than, that up? More than eight. Yeah, more than eight. No, sure. uh, my hot take on mental illness, um, I think people take too many medications. Yes. Uh, for mental illness. I think... Um, people are like, oh, this isn't right. I need to take a medicine for it. Yeah. 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 Quadrillion. 20 quadrillion ants. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. Uh, Too many people people want to get a pill, then go for a walk. Yeah. Which I think that it needs to be more of a sit in front of a mirror and think about what choices led you up to this position in life. Mm -hmm. And what... Can you do to not do that again? And it sounds awful, but it makes me sound like a piece of shit. Get over it. Yeah. I've I've had mental issues. Mm-hmm. I don't take fucking pills. Yeah. And I'm sorry I'm sorry if either one of y'all do. Do you take pills? I don't know. I I know some people that do and yeah. I don't I don't think you need that. I think that in a way it is a placebo. Mm-hmm. And I think you just need to take a breather, you know, take a fucking month, take a week, take a year, doesn't matter. Get over whatever you're dealing with, figure out what led you to that position, mm-hmm. and get the fuck over yeah. it. I I think that... What is... <laughs> you got one of them? I think that there's I'm a lot of people no. that don't... And I'm not saying I do. I don't know everything about myself. Like, I, it, yeah. like working through my emotions, like, I understand. But I I feel like a lot of majority of people would like to go see someone and get a quick fix rather than take the time. And deal with it yourself. To de- get work. You're not supposed to, without feeling the lows, you're not going to experience the highs. 100%. Without going through, like, figuring out who you are. Um, what you like, what you don't like, if you have anxiety, certain things trigger, like you find those things out about yourself and then 
work on them adamantly. Yeah. I don't I don't agree with, oh, you have this, let me give you this pill. Because then you're just a customer to Big Pharma for the rest of your life. Yeah. You're just a dollar sign. I don't think... <laughs> I think people over exaggerate anxiety mm-hmm. significantly. Are you one of those people? I'm not. Yeah. Oh, well, you're laughing over there. I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm yeah. real nervous where this is gonna go. What? I don't know. No, no. it's all no hate. Yeah, it's just no. A, it's just talking. It's just all opinions. Yeah, opinion. I'm not married to my opinion. No. You're good. No, it's just I don't know. I I strongly believe that. People need to sit down and deal with their own shit before they ask other people for help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people don't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, back 20 years ago, nobody had, nobody was popping pills for anxiety. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you have like legit stuff like bipolar. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just having a short fuse. You take a pill of some kind and. It mellows you out a little bit mm-hmm. to where that sh- that fuse isn't so short. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you have you have anger issues. That's a real thing. Mm-hmm. You having issues with other personal things is not other people's problems. Yeah, that's something you need to figure out for yourself. Right, I I agree because the- I'm. I'm beating around the bush. I'm not. I'm not gonna dive you're, in. You're not like because she's afraid I'm gonna dive into something pers- oh. specific, and I'm not going to. No, no. I just have a lot going through my brain. I so well, this is the third time we're doing this. Not we're this is a completely new topic. So I'm yeah, really this interested. yeah. We uh, I I agree. There's a difference between an inconvenience and then a chemical imbalance. So there's oh, a, it, there's a. There's a, there's a, what's that? A seesaw where yeah. like some people, in my opinion, would be overreacting or like blah, blah, blah. But then I, you know, I, in my household, anxiety and depression were like taboo. Yeah. And then Same. throughout the things I've been through in my life, you know, I've realized that because of some things, I have some trauma and I do get anxiety um, when certain situations happen like if a cop's behind me i get fucking like oh who doesn't you're right yeah but i don't i've never been arrested or anything like that mistreated but when a cop pulls up behind me and i just i know nothing's wrong with what i'm doing yeah i get i get a little nervous but i don't i don't think i think everything with our generation is blown out of proportion Mm -hmm. because i actually saw a video about this and it was like uh, something um, Greta Thornburg, the mm-hmm. rights activist, and um, what does she do? Uh, Tweeting from an iPhone made from slaves, but yeah. Um, environmental shit is yeah. what she's into. So, um, saw this guy as uh, a comedian, uh, Andrew Schultz. Yes. Andrew Schultz. He goes, I know why they're using kids mm-hmm. because nobody's going to tell a kid, shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. True. Plain and simple. And I think that correlates a lot back to our generation um, being raised soft. Mm -hmm. There's a saying, um, hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I just pulled that, that was one good. Off. You didn't <laughs> fumble or anything. That was good. <laughs> wow, dude. And I'm. What am I? How am I? At? I'm at five, right? Or six. Six. With the shotgun. Same. Fuck. Uh, no, but I. I'm a strong believer that our generation fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. If I could have been born 50 years ago, I would have been perfectly fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's tricky because my parents raised me as... My parents are backwoods southern Oklahoma people. So they raised me from that yeah. starting point. Same thing, my my parent, well, my dad, because mm-hmm. my mom is from Arlington. My yeah. dad grew up small town, work for what you want, Yeah, nothing's going to be given to you. All right. And that's how I... I think for the most part, you know... Your parents are parents. They're yeah, going to want better for you. Right. So they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you... A little harder and maybe, a little pushy. Maybe don't do that. Do this instead. Right. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But 
everybody in our generation wants shit handed to them. Nobody wants to work for shit anymore. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to learn. Yeah. Which is like what I love about my job and I get shit on mm-hmm. at my job because I'm the youngest mechanic mm-hmm. that we have at the company I work for. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to name drop that. Yeah. Uh, there's, that there's no telling. <laughs> uh, but I get shit on yeah. because they're like, oh, your generation, a bunch of lazy sacks of shit. Like, I'm not part of Whatever. this group, guys. And, well, and I'm like, I didn't know anything. I mean, I knew I knew the basics. I know how to change brakes on a truck. I know how to do simple shit on a truck five years ago. Mm-hmm. Besides that, I didn't know jack shit about mechanics. Yeah. I knew how, but I've always been like, oh, I want to know how this works. I want to know this and that. I started off at mechanics at like $15 an hour. Mm-hmm. And now I make so much money. Yeah. Because you put in that because time. Because I put in the work. I... $15 an hour. I'm like, okay, it's better than whatever this past job was. Yeah. And then it got moved up 17, 19, 25, so on and so forth. Yeah. So I get paid a lot now because I learned the task. Mm-hmm. Right. And nobody wants to learn anymore. And yeah. It bugs it, the shit out of me. It's all quick, quick. Yeah. You know, that's. I did the, uh, tried to do the DoorDash for a little bit. I did that. You did? You liked it? No. What'd you do that? Um, before Amazon. Okay. Before I started working for Amazon, I did DoorDash because I did security for, uh, a company and I actually got put at the Walmart in Denton is where I did like overnight security there. Uh Uh-huh. And I fucking hated it. Yeah. Got paid like $13 an hour. Mm-hmm. Lazy ass. So you just take on that. <laughs> uh, I got paid like thirteen dollars an hour, and it was basically a mean time. We're just gonna leave this in, so just yeah. Oh, no, we did. We talked. We about talked about that, that a the bit. first time. Yeah. God. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't know. I. Nobody wants to work for anything anymore, mm-hmm. and it, all of those people make me look bad because here I am trying to learn a trade, trying to learn stuff that fifty-year-old men that I work with have known for the past thirty-five years. Yeah, and here I am just trying to get a little bite. Mm-hmm. I just want a little taste of whatever they have, and it's like, oh, I show up late one day. And it's mm-hmm. like, oh. Fuck, I didn't know we had day off. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. off. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I didn't know I couldn't oversleep. Yeah. Are we still good? We're yeah, still we're good. good. Okay, we're all just, rolling. Just making sure. <laughs> He's traumatized. Hey. <laughs> you know, I, and uh, since you said traumatized, I, back to the outer proportion thing, basically, I don't, until I see a person in our generation mm-hmm. is a decent human being, mm-hmm. they're pieces of shit to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Thanks. do you work? I do. There you go. She's actually a hustler. She's got a job yeah. and goes to school. So well, she's there you like, go. you're the, bettering yourself and you're a member of society. Exactly. Hey, if you want to be on the podcast, come over here, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, no, she's coming here to just, gloat. Just, to just to, all right, take the mic. You got it. I work. Nine to five, and then I go to school from six to ten, Monday through Friday, and then I work Saturday. That's good. I stay till ten. Congrats. That's You're good. actually a, like mo- you've. I told you multiple times you've motivated me yeah. to get up. And I, I think, I think I'm a good. It sounds like a fucking look at me. Go ahead, situation, dude. But Fought your shit. Like I'm engaged. Uh huh. Y- I have. I have assets. Yeah. I have things that I don't owe money on. With an S. Yeah. Multiple. I yeah. Got, I have a truck. I have a motorcycle. I have a camper. Mm-hmm. That's fucking I have dream. more than 90% of our generation. Did you know that most people don't buy a house until they're 31? And here I am, 23 years old, right. about to buy a house. I thought it was 33. It could be 33. Let's go with 33. We'll go 33. You got a decade on these bitches. <laughs> I fucking work. Yeah, man. exactly. I, exactly. I busted my ass in my craft, and I did the 
taking the trash out, do this, do that, clean up that fucking spill type shit. And I worked my way up. And like I said, I started at $15 an hour and I make 25 plus now. Yeah. It's all put by putting in the time. Same thing with uh, Evan. Mm-hmm. Super proud of that motherfucker. I th- he's like, which a big thing with him, and you don't have to bleep him, bleep the name or anything like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, Evan, he, I am so proud of him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been plumbing for three years now. Three years now. I uh, know it's not what he wants to do. Right. Which is even more impressive and makes me more proud of him. Mm-hmm. He doesn't love it. He doesn't like it. He wants nothing to do with plumbing. Yeah. But it, he is in it, so he's going to do and learn everything he needs to do and exactly. learn. Exactly. Like, I know a dude wants to be a firefighter. Uh-huh. And he got to that point, and, like, a, a one or two tests away from it, and, you know, he, I don't, I don't know exactly what the issue was or mm-hmm. anything like that, but I know he wants to go back to it, yeah. and I couldn't be more proud of him. Yeah. But I, I know he has an end goal, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Yeah. And not everyone has to have an end goal. Right. There's nothing wrong with True. that. True. If you don't know what the fuck you want to do at 23 years old, 24 years old, guess what? You're not a minority in that. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, that's 90% of your age. Exactly. That doesn't know what the fuck they want to do. I didn't right. know what the fuck I wanted to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought I... The difference is that people going somewhere don't know where they want to go, but they put a dot on the map and just fucking go somewhere. Yeah, yeah they just yeah. do it. And that's just Evan. Get that's Evan. Yeah. Uh, like, I didn't... I wanted to be a game warden. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to do that's what I was going to college for and I, I've been I've wanted to be a game warden for as long as I can remember got to the point and I was like you know what this isn't exactly what I want to do mm-hmm. I got a job opportunity and I was like fuck it I'll take it Yeah. and now I, I'll be a mechanic for the rest of my life Yeah. and I'm fine with that well as far as I know yeah um, I love it cars ain't going nowhere nope or you know the heavy equipment the, yeah. you know there's more and that market is like massive, fucking well, huge. A lot of companies are going to EV. All right. How do you feel about that? Um, because I I wouldn't mind I, honestly having an electric mower. I'm talking okay, little simple things. L- simple. I uh, have, I kind of have a whole thing. Uh huh. So people who are more so leaning towards electric vehicles, electric whatever, heavy uh-huh. equipment, because they're like Caterpillar makes. Electric backhoes, big equipment. Wow! But guess what they run off of? A diesel generator. Yeah, doesn't make sense. But it does at the same time because you know if you got one diesel generator mm-hmm. that powers or charges up, you know, ten pieces of equipment, then you have one diesel generator. You have yeah. one diesel engine, which Instead is of- awesome. But at the same time, a lot of uh, environmental activists are oh, electric is good for the environment. False. No, it looks just fucking False. terrible. False. Because all batteries nowadays are made out of what? Lithium, Lithium ion. Lithium ion. Yeah. Did you know that mining lithium ion takes, it, it produces like 10 times the amount of smog mm-hmm. than just running a diesel engine? The cobalt that is required for every lithium ion battery is mined by slaves in Libya. Really? And w- like I said earlier, I don't. I, I, I feel like it was this time, but the Greta Thunberg. Thunberg yeah, yeah, that was the She's time, yeah. tweeting about environmental shit from an iPhone built by slaves. Yeah. And, you know, I, I hate that. I hate that. But it's like, at what point... This is a tool. Yeah. This is a tool at the end of the day. Yes, I use it for mindless scrolling sometimes. I'm not yeah, gonna act I, like I'm, I'm the the last one with Rhett. Y'all were talking about screen time. Yeah, I, when I was watching that, what's I was, yours? I paused it and oh, looked shit. at my screen time. Uh, so I work off of my phone, mm-hmm. so it's gonna be a little bit different. And I also use GPS and all that oh, on you my phone for work. Phone. I yeah. See what um. Oh, today's a new day. It's loading. Well, you can go back. Yeah. I think no, you can't. What? Oh, yeah, you can. Last week. Mm-hmm. So you, you go to week 
Scroll down a little bit and then look right here. Oh, yeah, the arrow? Yeah. Last week. Last week. What was your screen time average? Seven hours and 24 minutes. Six hours. Fuck, but you, you use yours for work. Yep. Fuck. My God, dude, I hate that. I just what was your so I, when I stopped watching the video and I asked McKenna and I was like, "What is your?" It shows like your pickup. Mm -hmm. What was what's your? I I don't see it on mine right now, but um, this one right here, sixty nine. Sixty nine is your yeah. average. Mine's a hundred. Mine's a hundred. Fuck. Yeah. Six hours. Is my average screen time mm -hmm. a day? Yeah, last week was just up because I was here all day trying to edit and stuff. I gotta piss it one more time. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, I can't. I shouldn't have broke that seal. Yeah. Go there and talk to him. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. We want to ask. You like that hat? I give that to Trent. Why'd you give him stuff? Huh? Why'd you give him? I I don't wear it. I think I've worn it once. I love it. I just, it's not my style. You know what I think? What? I think every time we have a guest, we, they should decorate a square. Yeah. Trent doesn't think so. I just feel like it'd be really loud with the mic. Well, you can cut it out, but you can still decorate it. I don't want a big one. Get I, that would run out so fast. I like the Polaroid thing, though. A Polaroid thing. He said he wants to take a Polaroid of everybody. Yeah. Yeah, he's weird about that. I'm just kidding. I mean, that's cool. We did it for a long time, actually. With the Polaroid? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you said you'd fix it. Um, a long time. Yeah. So how do y'all know each other? We met on the dating app. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Got there for a little bit? No. No? Just no. friends? Yeah. That's cool. I, well, I have a really good friend who I met off a dating app and she cuts my hair. So, really? Yeah. I don't get haircuts very often, but she does. Every time she does. We had like a little... Here and there thing. Yeah. Um, but I think we decided it was best as friends. Yeah. Yeah. She's awesome. She's really cool. Good. Yeah. How long have y'all been friends? Uh, since before me and McKenna met. How long have y'all been together? Two years. Oh, uh, two years, June 16th. Mm -hmm. Oh, we moved, oh, we haven't said this in this one. Um, I think it, we said it on the first one and the second one. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, asked her to be my girlfriend mm -hmm. within a week. Oh, okay. Moved in together within a month. Okay. And engaged within two years. Oh. It's quick. Yeah, I mean, two years, no. But. Uh, well, it was like. The uh, when did we get St. Patrick's Day? So March, right? Yeah, March something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is when we got engaged. The. <laughs> uh, the did uh, you plug it in for me? Talking stage for a week. Did bro, not even. Did you plug it in for me? And the weird thing is, I don't know if this is too yes. much. So I'll, I'll, I'll mention it to her or whatever. You can leave it in the middle. We didn't have sex or anything uh -huh. before I asked her to be my girlfriend. I was like. Yeah, this is awesome. Was it a week? Hey, it, it was that week. Hey, I'm just asking. Why are you pressing my friend? No, no, it was it was that. First, time. Yeah. So I don't care that it was within the week. I was just saying, like, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, she gave me the finger guns the first night. Um, I love her. Yeah, she's For awesome. That. I love her to death. Um, Next time you should bring her. Yeah. I almost did this time, but she's been asleep since like nine. Mm -hmm. So I hear you. She sleeps so much. I don't know how the fuck she does it. Yeah. Maybe I'm just too busy. I don't... Mm -hmm. I sleep like a good four hours a night, five oh, hours a night. I'm, I'm good to go. Good. Ten. No. I got to get I my can. sleep. I can't. Well, oh, I'll can. say ten. That's a little dramatic. How about a solid eight? Well, here's my thing. As I work 12 hours a day. True. I can't sleep ten hours. You're telling me I only get two hours with my girl. Yeah. Right? Free time. That's true. I hear that. Ain't worth it. Can I have a... How many you got left over there? Uh, four. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather spend time with her than sleep. Yeah, I hear you. I understand. So I worked fourteen. Oh, hours. I would do fucking anything for this girl. I've had serious relationships in the past, but mm -hmm. I'd do fucking. Anything. This is the one. 
Hundred percent. Obviously, I was about to go so into. I, was about to, I actually talked to my dad about this not too long ago. Um, I was like, if like you know, if shit goes south, you know, ten years down the road, whatever, God forbid. Yeah. I was like, I ain't doing this shit again. Yeah. Fuck that. I hear you. I'll be alone. I don't give a fuck. I'm a one time dude. Oh, with 100%. marriage. Hundred percent. I don't. And my parents, fucking love them. I, they're they are. What I look for mm-hmm. in a marriage, they are so happy. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you? Uh, I do looked you, out. I I I talked to so many friends. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're like, good. Half of my friends have divorced parents. I'm uh-huh. like, I fucking struck a gold mine. Yeah. I got the jackpot. It's you know I have two parents who are still together who believe in every single thing that I do. Yeah. And they they wow. if I make this decision, they're like. Make it. Whether they know or not uh-huh. that it's a bad decision, they'll say, take it. Yeah. And they'll let me learn from my mistakes. And I think that's super big. Wow. Yeah, dude. Well, what's it like? What, yeah, yeah, what's it like? <laughs> like well, I fucking, couldn't imagine. It's fucking awesome. And, like, um, you know my dad. My dad's yeah. the coolest motherfucker ever. He, he was always so around. Cool. Always, like, oh, chilling, so cutting cool. it up. And I'm just, like, a smaller version of him. Now that I'm getting older. Yeah. I just look like a small version of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's both of my parents are fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're hardworking individuals. Uh, both grew up um, low income mm-hmm. and yeah, worked. Yeah, and now uh, guess what? No longer low income. Right. So yeah, I hear you. My the <sighs> see when you do the with my parents, they grew up. They knew each other. Uh, they were both uh, waiter and waitress at a catfish restaurant. When they were like 13 and 12. Home? Yeah. Where? McGee's. Catfish. Oh, no shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where they met. Oh, nice. Uh, so they would like bus together, you know, like all that stuff. And so they knew each other for however long, but. You said 19? When they got, yeah. When, when they got nine, married? Yeah. And oh. uh, they got lived in a trailer. Then they moved out to California. and uh, what part? Oh, my gosh. Around. My like dad worked Southern? at Edwards Air Force Base. Just Southern. I think so, yeah. See, I, when I moved there, I lived in uh, Newport Beach. Okay. Newport Beach, Corona, Fontana area. Okay. It, it, that goes farther inland. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, so they, you know, they moved there. They're working. My dad, you know, Edwards Air Force Base was kind of like. Did you got in the Air Force? No, no, no. He was no, a safety was, guy. Oh, okay. So he's he's been safety for out through everybody. But he, while at Edwards Air Force Base, he was like. Hey, I like saw some, you know, things with like a big sheet over it be that careful. was on an eighteen wheeler. Like I've seen some. Yeah, be careful. I know. Say this, but uh, no, I know. I know exactly. Yeah, not exactly what you're talking about. But my uh, my mom's dad worked at Lockheed Martin mm-hmm. for a little while. Yeah, uh, which I don't know if y'all know what that is. Yeah, a big supporter. Of, you know what it is? It's um, a they make stuff for the military. Yeah. Big stuff. Big stuff. So I, my mom, I'm not going to say jack shit. My yeah. mom's told me stuff and I'm like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Same thing. So like, yeah, I keep them safe. But uh, so then they moved back to uh, Wichita Falls. You know, I was there on Friday. Really? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't been out there. Yeah, I went there three times last week. Really? Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How's the drive? Awful. Every time. <laughs> Where did we go that you hate that I thought was beautiful? My tattoo artist is in Wichita. Oh, I was going to ask you. Odessa. Yeah, that's a new one. That's my newest one. She did good. I like she, it. She did good. Yeah, she's Damn, from, she she's from England. Better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing some finger, finger guns. guns. You betcha. No fucking way. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and, that's and then, awesome. And then I have that one, which, so I have four tattoos. Uh-huh. Three of them are matching. Okay. With other people. So this one is matching with my dad. Okay. So that's um, fuck. What's what was that? Oh fuck, Trenton. Did it die? It died. No fucking way. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, everyone. Zane, what do you? Is that the end? <laughs> <laughs> I guess of the recording. I guess. Go look at but it. We can just, just, no, it's, it's definitely dead. Why is it plugged in then? Yeah, that's part of the... um, We can just keep this bitch rolling. Yeah, we're we're just just chit-chatting.
I'm assuming this is... Is it plugged up? Yeah, it's been plugged You're up. You're sweating real bad. I, first of all, I've been drinking the same bottle we turned the air off. I'm just saying. Was the air loud? Like, did you catch on? Yeah, it's like... Oh. Yeah. And it's hard to it's noise cancel like out on the feed. Is it yeah, saying it's dead? dead? It wasn't charging. Do you not have the actual battery charge or like the actual plug in for it? Or do you just use your. Um, the plug in, like it came with a uh, extra battery. Yeah. Uh, but I I haven't had it forever. Oh, well, fuck so it. You can just have a black it. screen. Yeah. For right now. Um, so, and we'll finish talking about my tattoos and I guess that might be the end of it. Fuck yeah. Okay, so. Uh, Damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so. Four, uh, three of the four tattoos that I have are uh-huh. matching. So this is kanji, I think is what it is. Okay. Uh, so it's Japanese symbol writing. Um, okay. So it's not a word. It's more of like a, a thing, uh-huh. which is bear. Okay. Because uh, my dad grew up and his nickname was Baron. That was my first tattoo on that one. Did it hurt? No. No, I was 18 when I got it. it Fuck was, yeah. It felt... I mean... It's a fucking needle going in your skin. True. It, it doesn't feel great. Yeah, right. Um, and then Did Trent show you his tattoo? Oh, let, 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 I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I his are more um, important. Way yeah, more important yeah. than mine. Um, and then uh, this one. Home which, slice. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you want to explain it to the people who are looking at a black screen right now. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, everyone, I'm looking. Actually, I'll just post a, a slice here, I'll of take pizza. A, yeah, you can put a picture. I'll put a picture uh, up. So that is matching with my brother. Um, cause he's my home slice. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let it focus, please. Thank you. Boom. And then, uh, this one is, have you ever seen oh, Bambi? Oh, yeah. You ever seen Bambi? Mm-hmm. So that's Flower from Bambi. And my grandfather, my dad's dad, has one tattoo mm-hmm. that he, that's it. One tattoo on his arm. Mm-hmm. And it is Flower. It was like his, um, he was in the army. He was a medic in the army. Mm-hmm. And that's the tattoo that he got with flower. That's like his squadron or some shit like that. Yeah. So me, my dad, my brother, all got that tattoo. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. That is awesome. I and wish my parents like. Oh, dude, you should see my dad, motherfucker. Dad. Yeah. Uh, he's well. He's now he's both. He's got double sleeve. Yeah, and then he uh, just got a huge back piece done. Oh off. shit. So why'd you get that one? This one, oh, I just wanted something for me. So my dad. Um, his is uh, one side's family mm-hmm. and one side is shit that he likes. Mm. So like um, he has a tribal tattoo and in the tribal portion of it, there's a T for uh-huh. my mom, yeah. a Z for me and an H for Hunter. But you, if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah. And then he's got a cross with like a little boy cowboy skeleton Mm -hmm. which is for me yeah and then uh the other little skeleton it's got like a like mohawk and shit like that that's for my brother that's awesome yeah um i'll show you my dad's back it's fucking insane dude you're gonna it's gonna blow your mind wow i just my i wish i don't know oh another thing i meant to talk to you about the 75 soft or whatever oh yes uh i just did my first half marathon. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. How was that? Rough. Yeah. Um, five months of training. Uh-huh. Um, first time we ran, I couldn't even finish a single mile. Uh-huh. And our goal at the half marathon itself was finish under three hours, okay. which is a fairly average time. Yeah. Um, that's a... 11 and a half 12 minute miles mm-hmm. which is slow but you think over 13.1 miles yeah, exactly. it's fucking with, it's pretty good so yeah. uh, we finished just shy of 3 hours and another goal was to do half of it so 6 and a half miles non-stop straight out the bat because uh-huh. if you're going to eat a shit sandwich yeah. take the biggest bite first yeah so we ended up doing 7 and a half non-stop fuck and yeah, it was it was fucking cool. I like that saying. I you know I've never heard that before. If you're gonna sandwich. eat a cheese sandwich, take the biggest bite first. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. I'll, hang on, let me find this uh, back tattoo real quick. Yeah, my uh, my tattoos mean absolutely nothing. And it, holy wow. fuck. Yeah. So, um, it's my dad loves like heavy metal music. Uh huh. And this is the cover of a 
or like it's pieces from an album cover for a band called Chemis, mm-hmm. which if you don't really listen to heavy metal, there's no point in looking that up. Yeah. But and then he went to go see the guys in concert. Holy shit! And he got pictures of it with him and all that. That must That's have been so an awesome cool. moment for him. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. Where uh, I where Joe where was that concert at? Uh, well, we saw him for Father's Day at. The House of Blues. You just plan things fucking Gosh, yeah. perfect, dude. The engagement, the Father's Day tattoo yeah. with the guys. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got a fucking schedule and a half. Yeah. Like I, I had to I had to make McKenna get this thing called Time Tree. Uh-huh. Um, and it's just like all of our schedules. Yeah. yeah and all that. And as soon as we figure out like, hey, we're gonna do something this date. Uh-huh. It immediately goes in, and yeah. it gets sent. Notifications get sent to both of us, and it gets put on the calendar. It's called the Time team. Tree. Time Tree. Is yeah. it free? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. I might need to. I think it's Time Tree. This. Yeah, Time Tree. It's awesome. So like, I have like all the days. I don't really need all the days I work because uh-huh. I work Monday through Friday, regardless. Yeah. Um, but like, she works like Monday, Tuesday, and shit like that. Like we just had a Zoom meeting with our uh, loan officer yeah. for the house and like uh, we're taking we're going back to Canton trade days on June 3rd and shit like that it's, I like that it's awesome do you that. like Get the it. farmer's market? I love the farmer's market so apparently Canton has this farmer's market yeah it's, just, it's Canton trade days oh it's the same thing well I didn't know this all you happened should, on the first you ought to go, look, go June 3rd we'll see y'all there fuck yeah no it's awesome the is the 5th we're going. We are going. We're going. And now the video is back up. So I'm just going to leave that all in. Yeah. And it'll just be dark screen. Yeah. Dude, we probably got like three hours from the video. We're, the honestly, we're probably. We're, we're well over that normal time. Yeah. Oh I got here four hours. Or yeah. I guess three hours ago. Yeah. I'm having a great time. My. We caught up. I'm. Your girlfriend was here. I'll bring. Fiance. Fiance. Be respectful. Fiance. Respectful. That's my guess. Uh, well, Whatever. if y'all want us back, we'll come back. Yeah, f- fuck yeah, dude. Okay. I people. Here's the thing. People, when I say, "Oh, just come on the podcast," two things happen. At first, before I posted the one with Red, I was asking people. Yeah. And. But I've been wanting to come on. Yeah. I don't even start with me. No, no. We've been talking for. <laughs> I tried to tell her. She was like, "Well, when was the last time you saw him?" I was like, well, like five years ago, but we've talked like yeah. throughout. No, because he's like my friend, my friend, my friend. I was like, friend, when was the last time you had a conversation with this man? Can I ask you a question? <laughs> People you were in high school with, do you still call them, even if you haven't talked to them, your friends? friends? Yeah, like, uh, who, Thank who you. do I not talk to super opt- like uh, Reagan? Yeah. She's my friend. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So the only people I still talk to, like, normally mm-hmm. are uh, Dustin. Yeah. Evan, Hunter, uh-huh. um, uh, Mariette, because Dustin oh. and Mariette are dating now. Okay. Um, I'll talk to Hallie, um, Bobby, and Preston occasionally. Mm-hmm. The, I, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, and I'm sorry if I am. Yeah. But yeah. That's, I. That's, that's, that's pretty it, much it. Red don't talk to me anymore. Yeah. She she's kind of <laughs> she don't talk to me. Kind of on her own at the moment. Yeah, man. I don't I don't know I. I mean, <laughs> no. She was a good friend of mine before we dated. Yeah, and you can. Leave Y'all dated? Yeah. Yeah. What? You don't remember? That? She hasn't watched the podcast. She isn't. Oh, I told you I didn't watch the a lot. motherfucker no, that was on the podcast didn't watch, watch it. What? Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. So uh, me and Red dated for a few months. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to college, and it just, I, 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 for what I can remember, it was mutual. Yeah. Um, it just long distance is never fun for anybody. No. How long um, not, not at all. He just said a couple months. Yeah, like I'd, I'd say six months roughly. Oh, six months. I'd, I'd say. That's like. Quite yeah, but that was so long ago. Yeah, no, and we were young, and she was still in high school, and I had just gone to college, and yeah, that's just... I was I was driving home every weekend, and it just it, it didn't work out. What I I I mean, she's still a friend. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't do anything for her because she's an ex. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's all but, good. But like, if she called me and said, "Hey, I had a flat tire." I'd be like, okay. That's doing right. something yeah. for her. Huh? That's doing something for her. She's a, she was my friend before I dated her. 
I was just saying because you. No, I said I wouldn't do anything for her. I wouldn't do anything for her. But if I'm the last person she calls and she says, "Hey, I have a flat tire," who else is she fucking? Like if she's in need, he'll be like. That's what you need. I'm not gonna go above and beyond for her. Well, he's not gonna buy groceries. I will help if you called me. I just fucking met. If you called me and said, "Hey, Zane, I have a flat tire." Trent doesn't know how to change one. <laughs> or I'd he'll let like, you drive home when he knows you have a, a low tire and get a blowout on the highway. First of yeah. all, that's not what happened. And you were like, Zane, I need you to come start <laughs> up this car. And I'd say, okay, where are you? Send me a pin. <sighs> and I'd do that. No, like, I'm a big, and I You're think. You're a dick. I think this is a. You can support this. I'm a big for. I'm there for people who I know. Yes. 100%. Like, I, I think I've supported the pod podcast vlog whatever yeah. I tried to yeah I didn't buy a shirt but oh it's all good but I was there for it no I listen I know it's every once a, you know I'd post and be like go watch it you'd slide up I'd be like fuck yeah dude thank you you know like everything everything helps everything counts yeah. like I appreciate it and I understand what you're saying I like, followed you on both of my YouTube accounts oh hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah uh, but yeah, I, I get what you mean. Like, it's I have. Did y'all date? Mm-mm. I thought y'all did for the longest time. We uh, like y'all just became really good friends. There was like a six day period. Yeah. Of just like kind of flirty banter. <sighs> yeah, and it you know then we it just kind of didn't, and we no, just no, kind of no. didn't. We probably shouldn't have. Yeah. I think it was very. Uh, just because we were together, kind of mm-hmm. situation, and then it formed into something because yeah. it was it was always uh, Hunter, Ashley, me, and Rhett. Always because yeah. Rhett and Ashley were friends then, and mm-hmm. me and Hunter are friends. So it was always us four together, and it was when we would go to like uh, softball games, like not out of state, but you know, far softball games. It would always be us four mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That time was. Cause I, what was crazy is that after high school, I just left. Yeah. It was off. Yeah. And then I come back. Be louder. After like AJ, bro, (laughs) you're not kidding. You did it. It's like these bitches. What did you just call? Don't have respect for the (laughs) podcast. What? What? Fifty style. Show her. What? You see this right here? What? Give me some powder. (laughs) Boom. (laughs) Oh, I'm playing. I'd probably miss at this point. I'm, She's like, it's the last thing you fucking do. Dude, she, she, really is. she, would, kill, she would kill me. Uh, no, like, I, and so then coming back, the uh, that 4th of July was the only reason me and Rhett ever really came friends. It was yeah. at Ashley Ashley's house. Oh, yeah. And they... Don't do there, that. That is not safe. <laughs> Don't do that. She was trying to put it in your ear. You're trying to... Insert something inside me? On the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, you know, we just kind of just kind of stayed in touch after however long. But I don't really talk she's to... She's a good person. Yeah. Yeah, she's... She's, she's uh, there for you. Yeah. Type of person, yeah. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she had a rough time over in Florida. She didn't really have many friends, you know. Oh, I bet that was tough. Yeah. I bet that was tough. So, you know, it was kind of rough there for a while. But, yeah, we just, it was weird. Because in high school, we were never, yeah never talked. And then just one day, it was 4th of July, and we just started talking. And we've been friends ever since. Good she'll idea. call me. Sorry for exposing you, but <laughs> she'll call I'm me. I'm sorry for fucking name dropping you, right? <laughs> it's all good. She was a guest. Yeah. Uh no, she'll, you know, I'll call her when I'm feeling overwhelmed or yeah. something's going on. She'll call me, have She's four just a problems. Girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. So, it's all. I love her dad. Mm hmm. I haven't Lloyd, seen him. Lloyd? I just fucking Is felt. Lloyd? Is that his name? Lloyd? Uh, Lloyd. Floyd? No, it's something Floyd? like that. He follows me on Facebook. Hold on. Floyd. You want to sit there? I got to pee again. I shouldn't have broke that fucking seal. Oh, no. We're still rolling and we're recording. Leonard. Leonard. I fucking love Leonard. That's what it is. Yeah, he's a big boy, too. He's a big motherfucker. He's tall. He's tall as shit. All right, any last questions? Because... Because it's late. 
It's late. I've been here a while. Yeah. We got. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Nothing. More than nothing. I already know what you do for work. Yeah, I know what you do for work. And how y'all met. Yeah. That's tough. Happens to the best of us. Is it really tough? But. That's positive. (laughs) 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 No, I feel that. I feel it. Oh gosh. Oh, we're talking shit. Excuse me, sir. Talking, talking shit. Yeah. Oh, when you look like that, it's not hard. Hey, that kind of actually got my feelings. Well, look like so what? I I have a last question, then I'll we'll end this and I'll dip. For him. Whoa. For Trent. I'm sorry. How am I gonna? I'll, I'll think of a question while I'm asking this. Okay. Why'd you diet? Okay. Her. No. I can answer why. She's in cosmetology school. Uh, and she's she. Kind of an experiment? Yeah, so she needed a client. And I hate to say it. You regret it? What? You regret it? No, I actually, I actually like it. I think it's a look. Thank you. It's grown out. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it, yeah. You probably should have just done the hair and left the beard, but then it would have looked funky. The. Yeah, the black beard. I did, forgot to do my eyebrows this last time, so it's kind of. We know. Yeah. It's okay. I'm, you know, I'm. I've always had long hair. Uh huh. Fucking started thinning out up top. Uh huh. Scaring me. It's all good. It's scaring the shit out of me. There's like, fifteen million different like options now. Well, dude, I looked at like a like a hair loss thing, and it was saying like you can. It was specifically for just the back. Uh huh. And I don't have that problem. My hair grows perfectly fine in the back. It's <laughs> right fucking here. Yeah. Which is the weirdest thing because both my grandfathers have full heads of hair still. Mm. I thought it was supposed to come from your, your mom's, mom's side, right? Dad, yeah. yeah. Full head of hair. Interesting. Yeah. Just recently started actually getting like gray. Mm-hmm. Wow. How old is he? I think he's coming up on 80. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, back again to what we were saying. People are living too long. People aren't supposed to live to 80 years old. No, 80 is fine. I, oh. I'm borderline in it at like 95. 95. You want to you wanna go to 95? You talk- I don't want to. As soon as I need help, here's my thing. As, as soon as I start needing help to wipe my own ass, oh. fucking put a gun in my mouth. I'm sorry. I agree. I'm not, not going to make my kids do violence that. violence or anything like that. But yeah. It's, my dad and me have an agreement mm-hmm. of he's going to... When he gets incompetent, yeah, he's going to sign the land over to me and my brother, mm-hmm. which I don't know if I should be saying it's fine, but <laughs> it's, okay. it's fine. He's going to sign the land over to me and my brother, and he said to just let him go out naked. Oh. Shoot him. Oh. Trespassing. Oh, interesting. Because now it's all his property. Yeah. I see, Seattle, I see where he's going now. In Seattle, he can get a... Shot like a dog. They euthanize people? In Seattle, it's legal. They should do that everywhere. No, no. Whoa. Yeah, it's legal there. My mom's. Dude, you're going to have a shit ton to edit. I'm just going to. That's. Uh, that's we get something to do all day. <gasps> She's calling me out. It's only a lazy sound of a bitch. my question. So, I didn't even get to answer mine. Thank you. I yeah. don't even know Whose what Whose podcast is this? Trent and who? <laughs> Trent and who? We are going to be down to zero tramps. Oh, <laughs> uh, hell, bro. You already lost one. Be I already careful. lost one tramp. <laughs> now I got the best tramp. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... Bro, she's fucking fed up. <laughs> she, yeah. Beyond, yeah. The, uh, so, with the hair... Yeah. I just did a... Uh, it was either a Snapchat or a TikTok filter, like, two years ago. Mm-hmm. And it changed my hair black. And I just thought, I was like, hey, that's a nice change. Like, Smile, I'm looking at your Snapchat. This is a good picture. Thank you. I'll post it on my Instagram. Uh, also, at Trent and the Tramps on Instagram. Okay, continue. Black. The, uh, I can't say that. Yeah. Dyed <laughs> hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dyed hair. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, I've been drinking too much. Oh, it's a dyed hair. Yeah, so yeah. she just, I just did the filter. I thought it looked good like two years ago. I was like, maybe one day. Yeah. And then now she's in cosmetology school, so I know I'm going to be taken care of. Yeah. And I just went, go for it. And so her teacher tried to talk me out of it. It was an awkward situation to where I was trying to like. Where are you going to school at? Sorry. In oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, there's. Uh... By the mall. Yeah, there's the. It used to be next to. There's an Olive Garden by. It. It's like in Louisville area, I think. In Opal, I think. I think there one is one in Louisville. Yeah. Yeah. I dated a girl that went to that one. Really? Yeah. Um. She was kind of an asshole. Continue. Yeah, Hair girls are crazy. Marrying one. Oh. Not yeah. hair, but you know. Yeah. She's an esthetician. esthetician. yeah. That word's always so hard to spell. Uh, no, actually, she prefers a... Uh, Esty? The fuck it. <laughs> no, a lash artist. Did you just say Esty? That's what they call it. On school. air, She's publicly? Esty. She's a lash artist. I like that. I like that more than it's it's a it's a fucking craft, man. It is. It's, I, it's she, art. It's You're she making talks, like a... She makes her own. Oh, oh wow. She goes off. She's I'll, going for it. Let me plug. Plug her business. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let me plug. Or what? A, I'll throw it up too. I think it's. I came up with when she started her own studio. It was McKenna Lash Co. Mm-hmm. Or something like that. I don't think. Oh, Kenna Lash Co. You better not be using my gold I one. Gold Where's the thing? Damn. Yeah. Okay. It's a good camera. iPhone. See, I'm telling you. Half of my vlogs are filmed. All of my vlogs are filmed on iPhone. What's the... Uh, is that her personal or her work one? That is her work one. Okay, I will uh, spell that still out. Show me a picture of her not in black and white. Yeah, sorry. Let me do that real quick. Hey. I was just saying... No, I'm, I apologize if I came off her. <sighs> she also loves Harry Styles. <gasps> she fucking went What's, to his concert. Which one? The one uh, in Dallas? The one in Austin. Oh, fuck. That's how she dressed. Adorable. She killed it. Yeah, she's the best. What's her favorite song? What's um, your favorite song of Harry? I'll have to look them up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, but here, um, oh, that's when I won the Stein Hoist. That's me here. Oh, fucking died again. He died again. Whatever. We still get the recording. Fuck yeah. Yeah. What's so? What's her at? Uh, Kenna K E N N A. Okay. Lash L A S H Co C O. I she doesn't post a whole lot on it. I don't believe. But that was more so. Oh no, she does. She does. Okay. <laughs> I'll uh. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. I'll uh pop that up. Maybe. Maybe. So get some new followers. Maybe. Uh. Uh. So then I guess I finished the hair. Just went for it. Yeah. And uh. Yeah, I I don't. My mom cried. I could see that. First time I came home. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. No, she cried and was mad at me. Because I feel like she was hearing me and seeing me, but not seeing me. Yeah, no. You know? Yeah. She started calling me Pedro. I good look. Thank you. I love Thank dark you. hair. I love uh-huh. black hair. Thank I mean, you, McKenna, she, her natural hair color is like pretty close to mine, a little bit darker. Mm-hmm. But she dyes her black. Yeah. She dyes it herself. Cause she can get that fancy shit from the yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the good shit. She probably uses Sentry. He did. Well, yeah, not the box stuff, like the real no, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she uses. The yeah. real shit. I don't that's awesome. like the dark dark. Oh, she she's like jet black. I love that shit. I love. Fuck yeah! See, drawing on the dark side. You can't I, judge my hair. I used, do, one who did I used to do frosted tips. Uh huh. When? I elementary school. Middle oh. School, yeah. Before you got there? Yeah, f- way before I got there. Yeah. I got there super. I got. Bro, after we get off of this, I got a question. Okay. Okay. Just. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I mean, it's not super serious. I could probably say it. And, I mean, you could just cut it. So, what do you want to do before college college? What was your aspirations, your goals, your lifelong dreams? I didn't have any. <laughs> Honestly. No, I, everybody wants to be something. Mm, I went to college. And Where'd you go to college, Dad? 
TCC, community college. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, f- for my basics, and yeah. I was going for... No. Okay. Of I'm going to drop out too. Oh, I was right. going for... Business. All three dropouts? All three dropouts. You spit on me. I was going for business. Yeah. But... What do you want to do with that? No. Sorry, I'm not trying to interrupt you. I'm just... No, I didn't want to do You anything. weren't here for the first two shoots, so I figured I'd yeah. ask now. You're fine. Oh, I didn't want to do anything. I just knew business with a business degree, it would yeah. get me somewhere. Mm. Uh, what do your parents do? My dad owned his own company. What's, and it, what's that? mapping it's like a mapping for a pipeline company like surveying mm-hmm. and then he Shit. sold that and now he's the president of it and then my mom works in hr hr for what well, like medical no it's i don't really know it's called yeah. and her company is hr so they'll like have clients so they get their third party hr yeah okay basically. that's cool is it I, it's, I don't know, but she said she works for Paychex. No, that's cool. And she has, like, clients who she so, HRs under. Over. Do you think you're going to stick with cosmetology? Yeah. yeah. I love doing like hair. You like it? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. can you tell me something how to fix this? I think I wear... My, I've been told I wear hats too much. That may be it. Like, just too tight of a hat. Well, my hats aren't that tight. But, but I wear solely these hats, which have no breathing up front. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That part, All breathing in the back. Yep. So yeah, Trent, honestly, stop wearing hats. Trenton's doing it kind of too. So. Well, I don't have super bad right here. It's, I just, like, you can see, like, I just stand out yeah. right here. Mm-hmm. And it, God, it scares the shit out of yeah. me. I'm like, if I go bald, then I got to shave my head. I'm, I got a fucked up head. A, <laughs> you need to get a thickening conditioner. The shape? I have one. Okay. Yeah. With, uh, what's that one chemical? Um, Keratin? No, it has argon in it and argon, keratin. Argon. Um, but there's a specific chemical that if you want thicker hair... Bites like it? No, you want to keep your thickness in your hair. Mm. You don't get certain shampoos that have this conditioner in them. Mm. Or that don't have this... Chem- you get shampoos that don't have this chemical in them. Mm-hmm. And it's like an alcohol yeah. type mm. thing. Nice. Uh, Thanks for my question. Yeah. Yeah, your yeah your dad. Uh, I don't even know. Do some way too. We should okay. Yeah, Goodbye. Go I don't even know. I need to come up with the outro. I guess. Yeah. Um. Thank you for sitting down. We're gonna chat for a while. Which, which one, the first, second, or third? All three. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the first one was that like... That was the best. They've all been fun, but we were just going. Yeah, we were, it was really bad. You should have been here. I mean, it was like conversation after yes. conversation. Yeah. It was topic, very, topic, topic, topic. It was very fluid, though. Yeah, it was. So. Uh, but yeah, well, thank you for coming on. Anything you'd like to plug, say anything, no, just go ahead. I'm, I don't have a huge social media presence, uh-huh. uh, but McKenna does, so I'll, I'll plug hers. Okay. Kenna Lashko and... Um, I don't know her actual Instagram. Okay. It's just McKenna Allison. So, okay. But we're about to change that to McKenna Howard. Yes, we are. Yes, sir. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> make sure to check out these other clips from the latest episode. And to make sure you don't miss a new video, make sure to subscribe to the channel.